Let's talk to our currency expert, Nick Beecroft. He's a senior markets consultant at Saxo Bank. Hi, Nick. Reprofiling. This is a, a new one, isn't it? <laughs> Great new euphemism, yes. So, I mean, d does it mean, well, the cat's out of the bag. Of course, they're talking about it behind the scenes. But mm. the fact that John Claude Juncker actually used the word means mm. that we're maybe moving on to a next stage of this. Yeah, indeed. I thought yesterday was a fascinating day in the, in the use of this new uh, R word, reprofiling. And also, one sense a subtle change in the power dynamic of the uh, discussion. Maybe it's becoming a negotiation with Greece maybe uh, raising the threat of default and withdrawal to force uh, the bailout money to be forthcoming. Mm. If, if, if it is, what sort of form do you eventually expect this reformatting, reprofiling, mm. rescheduling, whatever. What format might the package take then, when and if it does take place? Well, um, a, a voluntary, in, uh, in inverted commas, reprofiling yeah. with a lengthening of maturities, same coupon probably. Um, so it's not terribly attractive to investors, but probably better than the other alternatives, in, uh, in conjunction with further money, further bailout, mm. which I think will come. This is a monetary union with almost a political union. What it ain't is a fiscal union, which which is why it's in deep trouble. We seem to be heading towards that end day. Uh, mm. if, if and when it does come, how will markets react? I mean, does that draw a line under the sound? Or what's the next stage of this crisis after that? Well, I suspect this is going to drag on. This stage is going to drag on for several weeks. Mm. Uh, maybe the DSK incident adds to that uh, period. And so it could drag the euro down into the, into the low 130s, I think. Mm. But then uh, I think one has to be very careful because any hint of, of uh, a widening crisis, uh, equity markets coming off, especially the S&P, and I think the Fed will be itching uh, on the finger on the trigger to do uh, implement QE3. How, how, what sort of probability are you putting at QE3 right oh, now? Pretty high, the towards really? the end of the year, beginning of next year, yeah. Be because uh, the US economy is going to... It's soft patch yeah. and, and uh, it'll be seen to be required to meet the dual mandate. Without QE3, are markets going to just chug along and possibly go lower, talking mm. about equities here? Yes, I think so. It's difficult to see a constructive environment, given that all that's going on in the world. Uh, but uh, one suspects that QE3 will come in and then, and then uh, the flood of liquidity will, will power markets higher again. What about the debt ceiling? The US has reached the debt ceiling. Is mm. this a no story? It's not really a huge story for the foreign exchange market, I don't yeah. think. They'll raid the coffers of the retirement fund, sell a few treasuries, get through to August the 2nd, and the negotiations will carry on. Yeah. Closer to home, UK today, CPI figures. The Bank mm. of England will be watching those very closely. Mm. What will they tell us about the, the Bank of England's intentions? And whatever the figure, it's going to be around two, twice the Bank of England's 2% mm. level. Well, what do you think the bank should and will do next? Well, I suspect uh, these figures, the market could be set up for some kind of a disappointment today. The market has swung extraordinarily from expecting almost imminent rate rises mm. to, in my view, quite correctly, thinking they aren't going to happen for quite a long time. And today's infl inflation figure could be a little worse than expected, I think, a little higher, um, which may bring forward those expectations. But I think uh, the bank will sit in its hands. The minutes tomorrow will also be very interesting yes. as to, to whether it, uh, the it change from a 6-3 vote. I suspect it won't have done yesterday uh, or, or uh, at the last meeting, but I think ultimately They'll sit on their hands at least until the beginning of next year. I suppose we already know, don't we, that inflation is going to go up to 5%. So mm. is it all priced in? Is sterling, how's it looking? Well, sterling's looking, sterling's looking under pressure, and I think will continue to be so because of the accommodative attitude of the, of the Bank of England, which will continue well into next year, I think. What currency do you fancy right now? What's the, what's the currency to invest in? I think the, the dear old dollar is going to look good in the short term due to, due to the, uh, the, if you like, the safe haven, uh, search for a safe haven, and there are very few of those left in the world.